hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i make this delicious microfish stew this stew was really delicious i'm going to be listing all the ingredients that i use for this recipe in the description box you can check it out if you want to make this recipe and guys please do remember to subscribe to my channel set that notification bell icon to all and give this video a big thumbs up you can as well share this video to your friends and family so now i'm going to be cooking the fish that will add more taste to this fish i will add some water then i'm going to cover this fish i will like to cook for about five minutes so here are the beautiful vegetables that I'm going to be using. I'm going to blend this vegetable into a rough paste because I don't want my own to be very smooth. But if you want yours to be very smooth, that is your choice. It's also good as well. Here is the vegetable I just finished blending. As you can see, it's not too smooth. But the choice is yours if you want yours to be smooth. The fish is done. I'm just going to set it aside. I will allow it to cool down a little bit. I'm going to grill my fish in the oven. If you want to fry your own, you can just go ahead and fry it. I try to avoid too much of frying things. So before I place the fish on top of the oven rack, I just rub some oil on top of the oven rag so that the fish will not stick to the oven rag. It's very necessary for you to do this because if not, your fish will break up. As you can see, my fish is almost ready. I'm just going to flip the other side of the fish. Then I'll leave it for a few more minutes. Then it's done. It's time for me to start making the stew. I'm going to be using some vegetable oil. I'll add the onions. I'm going to add some paprika and some oregano. Then I'll saute everything for about two minutes. You want to make sure you stir it continuously because you don't want your onions and the other stuff to get burned. So now I'll be adding the blended vegetables. Then you stir it time to time because you don't want your vegetables to burn at the bottom. So time to time you just have to give it a nice stir. And also please don't over high your heat. I will add curry, some seasoning, and I'm going to add a fish stock. I'll give it a nice stir. I'm going to cover it now. I like to cook. So now I'm just going to check on my stew, then I'll add the crayfish. I'll be adding the fish. Adding the crayfish to this stew, just take the stew to the next level. It adds more unique taste to this stew. I'm going to give it a little stir so that the fish can sit very well in the pot. I'll add a little amount of salt. I'm going to cover the stew. I will allow the stew and the fish to cook very well so that the stew can penetrate inside the fish. When you are eating the fish, you'll feel the taste of that stew. So now I'll just give it a nice stir. I'll allow the fish to cook for just 
five minutes. I'm going to be adding some spring onions to add more color to this stew and also to give it this nice aroma. So thank you guys for watching. If you have watched to this moment, I really appreciate. Please do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button. Set the notification bell icon to all. That will notify you anytime I upload a new video. You can as well share this video to your friends, to your family. Give it a big thumbs up. And I'm going to see you in my next video with another delicious recipe. Bye-bye. Ciao!